Hello everyone! Julia is here. Thank you for watching and drawing with me and sending your beautiful artworks. They are amazing. And today we are going to put some of them in the spotlight. So look out for a picture and here we go! Your pictures are just fantastic, guys, and let's create some more. We will continue drawing our stay at home park story and what you will need today. You will need two pieces of paper, scissors, ruler, rubber, a pen and something to color with. It could be color pencils, markers, paints, whatever you have at home. I wish you a happy drawing. So let's start and have some fun. So. Here is our fourth page of our quiet book. And our puggy has returned from outside and he decided to wash his paws in his small basin. And he's already ready and looking forward to jump in his big bath with bubbles. And he has two cute rubber ducks here. And also we have a mirror and a bathroom cabinet with some shampoo and soap inside so we will need two pieces of paper now and we are ready to create some magic let's start so i will take one piece of paper and fold it in the middle so remember you can just help with your ruler or do like this just to make it perfect so our page is ready and now we will start drawing our bathroom for our puggy and please also cut our puggy in a basin from our previous drawings and he will be waiting for here now and I will create some tile here for my bathroom but you can just color it and make a horizontal line and just um, color it in one color or maybe you will decide to make some patterns it's absolutely great so it's up to you how to design your bathroom I will be drawing tiles on the floor so I will just put six centimeters from both sides and you can make different sizes I will be using six because it's suits me more I, I will create a grid uh, two centimeters per two centimeters so it will be easily divided so I'll just put some dots and make a grid two per two centimeters so and you can create your own pattern and maybe you will decide to draw some dots or stripes it's absolutely great or it can be just blue or green or whatever color you will choose so I will give you an idea how to draw this grid and you will decide would you join me or you create something different so I'm uh, doing this grid and I will be using already a mark, black marker just in order you can see it on the screen and you can just use black pen or just a pencil 
So, this will be our grid, and then I will color it with pencils. You can use pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have. So I will be using pencils because usually all of us have a lot of color pencils at home. And this is one of the most popular materials we are using for drawing. So my bathroom tiles are almost ready. I'll just draw two more lines. And here we go. So I will color this light green color, but you can use whatever color you will decide. So I will be coloring one. I will leave just one colored and one white and then again I will be creating my own pattern and you can make yours. So I will be coloring like this. And you can make them pink and blue or maybe yellow and green. So it's up to you. And now we will be drawing some stuff for our Puggy, who is ready to jump into his bath. So we will draw a bath and a sink for him and the mirror. So almost ready. And you can also color the create some wallpapers here or just leave it white if you like white bathrooms or you can make it yellow or any other patterns or maybe you will decide to decorate it even with pictures or maybe you will put some more mirrors in your bathroom so this is up to you because it's your picture and you create it this is bathroom and you are designers here and just giving you some ideas and if you need more time for coloring out and creating um, here I will you can just pause this video take your time relax and then come back and draw and I will start uh, drawing some stuff for my party so I will put my bathroom so I will start drawing big bass for my puggy and I will just check that the size will be fitting half of my page so I will be probably doing like probably doing like this size and I will also leave some space for bubbles so I will start drawing somewhere here just to make it uh, have the idea of the size of my bass so I'm drawing a curve line here yeah, and then go straight and then again here yeah. so this is uh, it will be the tube and now I will just connect and and made um, two legs like this on which it stands and I will draw some bubbles here. I will just show the shape and then we will be drawing bubbles itself and then we will color them with different colors to show that bubbles are very colorful, especially on the sun and light. So they can be on di of different colors, sizes. And I will show it here. So, now Puggy is very lucky to have this beautiful bathroom and I will draw also 
pack here and we'll color it here already so we'll draw twice just like a logo creating and you can draw maybe his pose or maybe just a heart whatever you wish to draw I will just show that this is belongs to the bug so just will make this logo for this tube and you can create your own logo your own style so this is our tube and I will just use the marker to make it more visible for you. You can do it also or just repeat with the black pen or just leave it as it is. And I will color it already in order to cut it ready. Color it, already color it. So I will be coloring the hole, even the pack. And Then I will only have to uh, cut it out. So I'll be making it pink and blue and you can make it maybe only blue or white or whatever colors you will decide to use. And I will make like yellow to show that they probably made of gold maybe. And I will also color the bubbles with different colors. I will be using yellow, pink, blue and light green so I will be coloring bubbles as well you can do it with me or just make them maybe pink or maybe green or maybe blue it's up to you so and you can make it faster like doing the pattern in the same place coloring pink then coloring yellow blue it will be repeating yellow will be on the right so can make it faster just to speed the process of coloring bubbles and now I will be using Green. and so look this is our magic our bubbles becoming colorful and this is just so amazing and so funny to have and cute to have these bubbles colored like this so our Mess is almost ready and we, I will be drawing two rubber ducks. It's favorite choice of our park, but you can draw as many as you wish, maybe three of them or maybe even more or maybe just one. And I will draw duck like this. So this is the head almost, it's a circle and then body like this and tail. and circle here so and link one and i will create draw another one just a smaller one a little bit smaller maybe it's baby duck and link and big and circle its eye and then I will color it also and use black pen for the eyes and will color them with yellow and orange colors but they can be also colorful or maybe they can have some patterns 
maybe dolls or maybe rainbows so i'm just coloring them with yellow and orange so the body of uh, my ducks will be yellow and wings will be orange so and beaks also orange so and now we will be drawing we will be we uh, will be drawing a mirror so we will just draw a circle it's very easy so you can create a circle not too big or um, just middle size and then inside you repeat the line inside so this is the mirror if it's not too perfect you can just rub it out and repeat and make it more perfect so I will be coloring it with creating an, a glass like this shown a mirror and then I will just color it pink and I will also use black marker to show it properly so I will use black marker here just make it easy to cut following this line So and now we have the only one we uh, one scene is left. It's actually our bathroom cabinet, and I will make it not too big. I will just make it about eight centimeters and five centimeters. So it will be eight here. Just using this right angle of my paper I will make it easy for myself and six with the heart and eight the beads so and six here properly and now I will just fold it in two parts two centimeters and two centimeters here and I will have to cut it out it is almost ready we just cut it out and fold it and uh, I'm folding it like this and you can fold it with the help of the ruler so I just fold it in two parts our bathroom cabinet and now I will draw a line in the middle shown a shelf here just a line and just repeat it so this is the shelf of the cabinet and now i will also draw two knobs to make it easy to open and we'll color it in blue and pink and you can color it different colors whatever you wish so I will be just showing this line here and color with pencils pink and blue.
So, and we need to put something here. So, we'll be drawing also shampoo for our pagi and maybe even a soap if you wish. And you can draw as many stuff as you wish for the pug. I will just show you how to create some soap and some shampoo for our pagi. So, and first we also need a, a sink. Um, to wash his paws and it, it is very easy to do so I will be doing it like four centimeters and I will make it six centimeters here and just four centimeters in the up so I will create it about two and a half make a line and you can make it without a ruler so and I will put dots here and here and then I will make like this oh it's yeah I will just correct it so and then I will draw a sink, so it will be wide, wider a little bit here than here, but you can make it the same size. I'm just showing that it narrows, but it's not obviously necessary here. And just to give, give an idea of perspective, you can do it or just skip this. And I will just cut it out. So it will be wider on the bottom. And now I have drawn an oval and I will repeat it with um, the marker here. And you will see that it's where our water goes. And this is a sink, it's just an oval. And I will color it blue and creating these lines showing that the water goes here and color it in blue but you can color any colors it depends on just on your um, bathroom cabinet color or it can be absolutely different color so almost ready and I will just Keep it here with my puggy and I will also create two bottles of uh, sh shampoo for our pug. It's very easy, just we are drawing almost a rectangle but a little bit curved here and here. It will be a bottle of shampoo for our puggy, for pup. Uh, puppies and oval will be on the top and just draw in some labels here and I will draw paws like this so now it's ready to color I will use yellow and navy and maybe even pink and you can use your own colors so I will make it navy and it will be pink to make it look funny so shampoo is ready and I will also draw a bottle of soap maybe our pug would like to use soap but also almost a rectangle just a little bit curved corners and I will create just small rectangle here two lines here and a drop almost it will be looking like a drop but moved a little bit here and some label here is a drop on it. So.
our toes already. It's a bottle of soap. So you can color it in your own colors. I will be using blue and maybe even light green to show that it's sack friendly and yellow. And now all I have to do is just to cut what we have drawn and you can just follow black lines or leave some space and make it easy just to cut it in rectangles or a little bit in ovals in order not to spend too much time it's up to you like if you want to go follow the lines or leave some space so you decide what to do I will be leaving here some space and more detailed cut I will make for the tube and sink and mirror so the stuff is also ready and I will can already stick it like I can already stick it here or you can do it later I will be sticking my shampoo and the soap just not to lose them to keep them already in the cupboard so and now I will cut the tube and all the rest things just two ducks rubber ducks and the mirror so just cutting it out this is absolutely beautiful how our room is becoming decorated and we are creating a real room for our park so almost of nothing we just have draw it all by ourselves and this is the magic, the real magic of drawing, that you can draw almost anything you want. Isn't it fantastic, guys? And I'm cutting two ducks. So one is a little bit bigger and the other one is a little bit smaller. So maybe it's mom and a baby. Why not? So, ducks are also ready. And here we go, the second is ready. And now I will just need to stick and draw some few things there and the bathroom would be ready for our party and all parks love bathrooms and to wash the holes so i think this is their favorite thing to do So I'm trying to follow the line, but you can leave some space. And now we will just take a glue stick in our bathroom, which we have drawn already with you guys. So here is our bathroom and I will just locate all on the places and stick them so I will put tube here and one small duck I will put here and one duck will be swimming already so I will just stick them I'm using glue stick, you can also use it, it's 
convenient to use or you can use just another glue if you don't have glue sticks so I'm just putting it here and stick this rubber duck so showing that it's already swimming and now I will put my, my puggy here just to double check that it the pack fits with our bathroom cabinet just to leave some space and not to stick it on the folding line. So I will put here and we'll stick here. So just space, leaving some space in order I can put this in here. So I am checking that it fits my page and just sticking like this. And then stick the sink itself. So now I will be sticking a mirror, but first of all, I will just maybe draw a tap to show that our puggy can use the sink so I'm just making a curve line repeat it and doing like this and you can color it to show that water comes here so you can wash your hands and you'll stick the mirror so the room is almost ready and we have even shampoo and soap for our puggy and now I will also draw or you can draw and cut I will just make it simple just will draw a shower so I will draw two lines straight here and curved and then repeat this line just second one just like this and if it's not perfect just rub it out and try to make it more straight or you can use a ruler of course it will be easier and then I will draw just a semicircle here and then squish oval here so and I will use a marker to make it more visible for you guys so I will and some dots the water is coming from here so it's our shower and now all I have is just use my black pen straighten the lines and then color it I will be coloring it also blue and pink and you can use your own colors so I will be just rubbing this line and it's almost ready like our pug is very happy because he's ready to jump just to jump in this bath and Just adding some colors and you also can create some patterns or maybe decorate if you want I will keep it just white because I love white bathrooms and it's up to you if you would like to put some pictures or maybe some more toys and look guys how beautiful our bathroom is and our puggy is the luckiest one so we have created just an amazing bathroom for our park and now the only thing we have to do is just to stick it to our previous pages 
So we will use the last one and stick these two pages together. So to make our book almost ready. And I'm just using stick glue and we'll stick it. And next time we will finish our book by creating a beautiful cover. So I'm just sticking it together. Time to stick them together and that's it. And here we go. Well done, guys! This is just fantastic! Thank you for watching this video. I really love drawing with you, my art friends. And if you enjoy my lesson, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share your beautiful artworks on my Facebook page, the link to which is below this video. Thank you! See you soon! Bye-bye!